Welcome to your unconventional commencement. Greetings to everyone, students, families and friends, FIT faculty, staff and administration, and other distinguished guests. I am Dr. Giacomo Oliva, Vice President for Academic Affairs, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you to this very special virtual event in celebration of the members of FIT's graduating class and the completion of their associate and baccalaureate degrees. We wish that we could be with you here today in person to share these joyous proceedings, for they underscore the importance of higher learning and mark a significant milestone in our students' education. Nonetheless, we are thankful that through the power of technology, we are able to come together virtually to recognize and congratulate our graduates for all that they have accomplished. We sincerely hope that you enjoy our commencement ceremony today. Commencement is about the future and we are celebrating the start of a new phase in all of your lives as holders of well-earned FIT degrees. Commencement is also about the past, as you follow in the footsteps of graduates before you. And now we proceed with one of FIT's commencement traditions, the transfer of colors. The Fashion Institute of Technology was founded in 1944 during World War II by individuals of great vision. It began in borrowed space with borrowed equipment, but, one item of its own was an American flag. The flag has been handed down as a visible demonstration of the way each class touches the next in a never-ending chain. And as we honor the American flag, so too we honor the flags of all countries as represented by the flag of the United Nations, as tribute to the diversity of our community and the world. FIT is a public institution that serves many among the most important are the people of New York State. Our flag is a deep blue. Our students will transfer from one class to the other the colors of the state of New York. The city of New York is also served by this great institution. The city's Dutch heritage is identified by the colors of its flag, orange, white, and blue. Our students will now transfer from one class to the other, the colors of the city of New York. The flag that remains is FIT's. It is blue, symbolizing aspiration, dedication, and achievement. It represents the faith in education with a purpose that was held by the founders of this college with great pride. We conclude this traditional ceremony by asking our students to transfer from one class to the other, the colors of the Fashion Institute of Technology of the State University of New York. Madam President, the colors have been transferred. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. The past year and a half has not been easy as we live through moments in history, such as the pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement, virtual schooling, the Stop Asian Hate movement, and many more, you persisted through and discovered the silver linings of being virtual. You coped with being away from family and friends, you found employment in a scarce job market, and for some, you managed to stay sane being at home. These are a few of many victories you may have encountered, and I hope they remind you all how strong you are. The former SGA president, Sally Haas, once said, you are not a student first, but a human being. After today, some of you may not be students, but remember that you are not a job, 
you are not a service. You are a human being and your feelings are always validated. Reflect, forgive, and rest because you deserve it. We are all unique people from different walks of life and I encourage you to listen to understand others. Hate and bigotry are not accepted here and not accepted for any reason. Protect your neighbors and check in with your friends and family. You never know what battle people are going through. It's okay not to be okay, but always remember that you have the power to create your reality. Thank you to all the families and everyone at FIT for believing in us, and I wish nothing but the best for everyone. Thank you. As the president of the Faculty Senate, and on behalf of all the faculty of the Fashion Institute of Technology, congratulations. You have not only graduated from an incredible institution, but you have done so in one of the most unusual times in the history of FIT. You persevered not only with the numerous and challenging tasks that normally comprise a degree, but with everything extra that the world could throw at you as well. For this reason, we the faculty know and are completely certain that success will follow you wherever you go. Congratulations again. I came to FIT to study film and media. I knew I was crazy about films, but had no real idea about actual filmmaking. In freshman year, a professor of ours gave us a creative assignment to take 10 photographs inspired by a film, do it with a disposable camera, get the pictures developed, and arrange them in a sequence that tells a story, all in a time crunch. I had so many questions. How do I get these pictures developed and where? What to capture exactly? Our professor simply said, just get it done. Figure it out, make it happen, just get it done. And I did. That is something put in plain terms that I've taken with me since. That I can make something happen and get it done because I must, because I want to, against the clock and against the odds. From a small assignment like that to the greater things that go into movie making and otherwise. We can strike through the invisible walls that are seemingly there to restrain us. I wish you all my very best and warmly congratulate you on graduating this summer. Congratulations, class of 2020 and class of 2021. This is your own very glorious day. This may not be the commencement that you dreamed of, but in no way does the lack of traditional ritual take away from your achievement. Naturally, you didn't arrive at FIT wanting to be known as the classes of COVID-19, but perhaps there's another way to look at it. Last year, in a commencement speech that he delivered in Ohio, Tom Hanks called you the chosen ones. Chosen because you chose to succeed. You chose to complete your choice of studies. You chose, in the face of an unimaginable fate, to graduate. And here you are. You walked through that storm and you claimed your place and you found your voice. And indeed, this is your day. And though the pandemic will forever be part of your identity, there's something else, something more important that distinguishes you. In your time with us, the world, the country, and our campus as well, became the canvas for some of the era's most difficult, divisive issues. Racism and bigotry of every description, gun violence, immigration, police brutality, climate change. And you looked at the violence and the bigotry and the destruction of the environment in the face and in ways that cannot be misinterpreted or ignored 
you said no. You raised your voice, you rallied, you protested and petitioned, you put your elected officials and your FIT professors, all the administrators, and me as well, on notice and demanded change. Fairness, equity, diversity, respect. You became change agents for a world in desperate need of repair. You give me hope for a better future. However, now you face more choices as you step into the careers that you prepared for at FIT and life, real life, takes over. How are you going to nurture your sense of purpose? As you start to grow and build new families and friendships and new experiences shape your perspectives, what values will you hold dear and continue to fight for? What will be your North Star? Well, my bet is on you. In times of unprecedented peril, you chose the light and proved that you have the power to make a difference. So class of 2020 and class of 2021, I will be watching as you make your mark. And I want to wish you much success and Godspeed. And now I am thrilled to be able to introduce your commencement speaker and the recipient of the 2021 President's Award for Creative Excellence. I suspect that this is a woman who needs no introduction. She's an actress, a singer, a producer, a director, an entrepreneur. I bring you Tracy Ellis Ross. FIT! Classes of 2020 and 2021, woo -hoo! I am so honored to be your commencement speaker this year and oh, how I wish we were together in person celebrating this powerful, beautiful moment in your lives. And also so that I could see what great outfits you all would have chosen to wear under your cap and your gowns. But honestly, there's pretty much no one else that I would rather be with than a group of creators and innovators. I think you all are doing the work of angels, seriously. I have loved and treasured fashion, design, and craftsmanship from a very, very, very young age. I basically came out of the womb with two things, joy and a hankering for all things exquisitely designed, be it a doll, jewelry, a table, a building, ceramics, textiles, turnstiles, album covers, and trust me, I've seen an album cover or two in my day. I've witnessed the power of a kick-ass suit and a beaded gown, a church hat, and a great commercial. I have lost myself in way too many games of Ms. Pac-Man that I care to admit. Main titles for TV shows reside in my heart for eternity. I love a beautifully bound book, pillowcases, sheets, and French antiques, wallpaper, light fixtures, sofas, rugs, and did I mention shoes? Shoes, shoes, shoes. I have always loved shoes. I notice it all. It offers me fuel. And all of it is an integral part of my identity and self-expression. Some of you are leaving FIT as designers of toys, interiors, cars, games, and packaging, photographers, illustrators, architects, animators, and filmmakers. Some of you are on the business side of these creative industries, heading into advertising, marketing, or journalism, or you will become experts in art, cosmetics, home products, and textiles. So basically, you all will be making things for me. <laughs> or you will be building retail strategies or managing sustainable supply chains, which also fascinate me as someone who has launched her own beauty business, Pattern, Pattern Beauty, and is building a plane as I am flying it, so to speak. What unites everyone here graduating today is creativity. That is what brought you to FIT. You all are dream weavers, the spice rack of our lives. I can tell you from experience that we need people who are professionally bilingual, who speak both design and business, creativity and commerce. So whether you end up on the creative side or the business side of this industry, 
you will have an opportunity to use your talent as a gateway into changing perceptions. And that is vitally important. You will be telling the stories of what's happening in our lives, particularly at this inflection point that we're in right now. Fashion and design give us an opportunity to make a statement about who we are and what matters to us. So I ask you, who are you and what matters to you? Keep asking yourself that question year after year. Let your heart and your gut be your guide and be excellent at what you do. And as the great John Lewis said, you must be bold, brave and courageous and find a way to get in the way. So how will you get in the way in your own way? How will you stand for justice, freedom, equity, inclusion, choice, and safety? Because we no longer have the luxury of not being bold, brave, and courageous. Let your work comfort, inspire, offer an escape, or be a platform. People will have a piece of you, your energy, your vision, along with them at pivotal moments in their lives. So know your impact and use it wisely. I'm counting on you. What it takes to be a creative force and graduate is no small feat. And to do it now, this year, bravo! Creating in a bubble and not in community is not easy. Making a transition into virtual learning in the middle of your education, that's no joke. So I already know that you are determined. Taking that determination out with you into the world is a challenge, but knowing the education that you've had, the mentors who have guided you and the outstanding work that you've done to earn this degree, I'm absolutely sure you're gonna crush it. So please get in the way every chance you have. Go big and go bold. And I want you to know that I will be cheering you on every stilettoed step of the way. Congratulations. How's my hat? Let's make it more fluffy. Oh, much better. Congratulations. Bravo, bravo. Oh, a round of applause and a standing ovation. <laughs> Greetings. My name is Patrick Nisley, Dean of the School of Liberal Arts. Madam President, it is my pleasure and honor to present to you the candidates recommended by the Faculty of Liberal Arts for conferral of the Associate in Applied Science and Bachelor of Science degrees from the Fashion Institute of Technology. Anne Christensen, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Christina Deckage, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. May Dunkey, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Ava Ferguson, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Melinda Galindo, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Daniela Garza, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Shamikia Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Paige Johnston, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Maria McGee, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Carla Medina, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Anthony Miller, Bachelor of Science, 
art history and museum professions. Ivana Penchev, Bachelor of Science, art history and museum professions. Angelica Pomar, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Natalie Shobilski, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Lauren Simmons, Bachelor of Science, Art History and Museum Professions. Eric Enchundia, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Jack Chandler, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Michael Goronsky, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Tiana Green, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Liam Hickey, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Shannon Jamison, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Elizabeth Kopak, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Anthony Lane, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Zachary Linda, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Sandy Lee Volsey, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Margaret McCloskey, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Jackson Mooney, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Elani Mora, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Carson Quillitz, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Rene Russo, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Drew Stats, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Muskin Bhatvani, Associate in Applied Science, Film and Media. Altagracia Diamond Abreu, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Andres Bornicelli, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Alexana Breyer Finkelstein, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Gabrielle Coberto, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Francesca Cavalcanti, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Brandon Gaser, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Brendan John, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Abigail Kolek, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Austin Krumak, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Michael Manata, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Jasmine Medina, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. William Munn, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Beverly Oli, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Jordan Pena, 
Bachelor of Science, Film and Media, Zari Ramdhan, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media, Anika Richardson, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media, Dylan Stevens, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media, Huge shout out to my parents and all my other family and friends. I couldn't have done this without all of your love and support. I love you guys. Morgan White, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. Victoria Dolan, Bachelor of Science, Film and Media. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New York and the trustees of the State University of New York, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon all of you who have completed our requirements the Associate in Applied Science degree and Baccalaureate degree respectively with all of its rights and privileges. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to recognize you as FIT alumni by asking you to shift your tassel whose color represents the level of the degree that you earned today from right to left, and you are now official. Congratulations. Time to turn the tassel. All right, graduated. Onward and upward, congratulations. Woohoo! Yes, you did it! Congratulations! All that hard work paid off. Congratulations! Congratulations, guys. We love you very much. You made it. Please stay in touch. Woohoo! Yeah! Congratulations! Congratulations! Woohoo! May all your dreams come true. Congratulations, you made it. You should be so proud. <laughs>